that, we are going to hear from Eric and um, a little bit about the town kitchen provisions. We'll probably hear some, some pivot, um, what they're up to and what their needs are. Excellent. Well, thanks for uh, Food Fund and Slow Money and the team. Uh, we feel so appreciated. A lot of virtual hugs lately based on our situation and what we've been going through. So um, I assume everybody can see my screen or they'll, they'll say that they can't um, and we'll go from here. So I want to tell you a little bit about the kind of the tale of two kitchens, if you will. Um, prior to COVID-19, we were a rapidly growing uh, public benefit corporation focused on employing and elevating foster and rancher youth. We grew by 86% two years ago, 47% last year, and we're on track to grow over 120% in 2020. Um, we were doing amenity in a box or a corporate catering for the most part of our business. Uh, we recently brought on two accounts, Chabot Space and Science Center in 2019, and most recently a large million dollar plus opportunity with the Filoli Estate and Garden, a 16 acre historic landmark uh, on the peninsula. COVID-19 hit and we had to pivot. Um, our, basically within five days, we lost uh, about 250 to 300K in revenue uh, for the month uh, on, on a revenue basis over about four to five days. Um, you know, our core company is made up of what you see down here on the bottom. It's 48 hardworking hourly employees paying livable wages with a high percentage of women leaders in our organization, supporting 27 local artisan small businesses uh, with an overall makeup of uh, two thirds roughly female uh, to a third male uh, individuals in our organization. We pivoted because we couldn't let them down. We pivoted so that we could keep them working. We, we pivoted so that we could have hope and optimism uh, that we were not only going to survive this, but we were going to thrive through it. So what's happened since we pivoted? Well, we launched TTK provisions in six days, uh, three and a half days if you count it from the day we actually mobilized as a company. We've had over 500 orders. We've generated a, a, avenue, or excuse me, a, a revenue run rate of 800,000 in just over four weeks, or roughly you know, 20, 20K a, a week. We're growing at 20% a week with 35% gross margins. And we've been able to continue to use our DNA of helping elevate minority and women-owned food businesses in the local food ecosystem, uh, using Red Bay Coffee, Firebrand, Numi Tea, Mariposa, and others. What we're most proud of of this is we've been able to use this online platform uh, to direct 8,600 plus dollars in donations to local food banks, the East Oakland Collective and West Valley Community Services. What we know about our business moving forward, uh, what we do know about it is we have a three-year agreement with Filoli. We're at 800 um, average run rate on the town kitchen provisions and we just secured uh, work with the World Central Kitchens for the next two months. Uh, that'll be in the tune of 250 to 300K uh, or 12 to 15,000 meals a month. We have a four-year agreement with Chabot Space and Science Center, uh, roughly a six, roughly a, uh, excuse me, roughly $600,000 opportunity. Uh, can I get the next slide, please? Somebody took away my share rights. Uh, and we don't know, what we don't know is our B2B tech catering space and the value that's on top of that. But we do know that we're going to grow by about 50% this year over 2019. And that's where we're focused moving forward. I'll get next slide, please. We need fuel in our tank to do this. We're raising $800,000 convertible note structure. I'm an investor in the company. I've committed over $120,000 already since I started two, week, two years ago. And this is going to allow us to launch our 12,000 meals with uh, World Central Kitchen, expand our facility to triple our capacity that we need with our current uh, solutions, and grow the provisions business to $1.5 million entity. I appreciate your time today and I'll take questions. We'll go from there. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Eric. Jonathan, do you have a question or actually Kristen, sorry, do you have a question or comment for Eric? One just thing doing and particularly of course um, to my heart is propping up and empowering women entrepreneurs and women in the space. So thank you so much. Yeah, I would, I would say we wouldn't have been able to dry the TTK provisions had I not gotten out of the way and let Renee Shotton lead the charge uh, as a GM of the provisions line. She's done an amazing job. Thank you.